This is simple cuboidal epithelium made for anatomy 10A lab at Mount San Antonio College. Let's review. There are four main tissue types in the body. Epithelial tissues, otherwise known as epithelia for plural or epithelium for singular. Connective tissues, muscle tissues, nervous tissue. The entire body can be broken down into and fit into one of these tissues. So let's review epithelia. By definition, it must be a surface and it must be lining something. Okay, uh, These cells will be found close together so there's no gap in between the cells. There are no blood vessels in epithelial tissue. And we name them by the number of layers of cell as well as the shape of the cells. So it was only one layer thick. Okay, this would be the mason membrane where the epithelium ends. This, if you see, is only one layer of cell thick, so we call it simple epithelium. This is stratified epithelium because it's more than one layer of cells thick. This is the basement membrane down here. Notice, because it's lining something, it's going to have a free surface up here. A free surface up here. And I call it a free surface because it's not touching another cell like it. It may be touching air, it may be touching blood, it may be touching urine, but not another cell like it because it is lining the surface. Here's the review of the different shapes that are possible with epithelium. If the cell is squished, then we call it squamous. I like squish because it's SQ for squish, SQ for squamous. Here we're, lo we're looking at cuboidal cells in that the height is about the same size as the width. So it's a cube, a square, a cuboidal cell. And lastly, if the shape is tall and skinny, it will be a columnar uh, epithelium. Typical textbook picture of simple cuboidal epithelium. And if you look here, you should see the white spaces. That gives you a hint that there is a, a, an opening here. Okay, it's a space here. And that tells you this layer of cell is lining a round structure. This layer of cell is lining another round structure, another round structure, another round structure. In other words, all of these are tubules. Where are we? The location of simple cuboidal epithelium is kidney tubules. Okay, so in the kidney. And of course you can see the, the nucleus pretty clearly. Okay. And you can also see the pink cytoplasm here. In addition to kidney tubules, we also have simple cuboidal epithelium in the ducts of glands. So here's the similar picture showing you the nucleus of cuboidal cell. The lumen, which is the, the space inside the tube, okay, that will be the free surface, if you will. And uh, each of this, each of this cell, each of these cells would be cuboidal cells. So remember, on the test, on the practicum, if the question asks, name this tissue, then the answer we're looking for is simple cuboidal epithelium. If the answer, if the question asks for name this cell, okay, name this cell, name this cell, the answer we're looking for is cuboidal cell. If we say name the structure. The structure can be nucleus, the structure can be cytoplasm, the structure can be plasma membrane. And of course, if we ask for one location, you can say tubules of the kidney. Here's an image of simple cuboidal epithelium. As you can see, there's a white space here, so white space here, partial space here. So all of these are lining the tubules. Okay, so once again, these structures are like this. They're round structure coming to you. Okay, it's round structure coming to you, and you're looking at the cut surface. So lining these round structures, round tubules, is this one layer of cell. I say one because if there are many, there would be another ring of cell, another ring of cell outside of it, but there's only one ring of cell, so it's only one layer thick. Once you recognize that there's a space here, then these are potentially epithelium, right? You have to be suspicious about epithelium. So once you think it's epithelium, then you only have two questions to ask yourself. Number one, how many layers of cell do I see? 
one layer. It's only one ring thick, right? If it's more than one ring thick, there'd be multiple layers. Number two, shape. If you just kind of eyeball each of these cells, the height of the cell is about the size of the, uh, as the width of the cell. So that would be a cuboidal cell. Now, notice the nucleus here are nice and round. Okay, these nuclei are nice and round. So it's not squished like the simple squamous epithelium uh, in the last set of slides. Here's another look at simple cuboidal epithelium. Okay, once again, if you recognize that this is a round structure, this is a free surface right here, so there's a potential space. With this potential space, we have a lining of a tube, and the lining of the tube is only one cell thick, because it's only one ring. Once you recognize the structure of the nucleus, you should see that the nucleus are predominantly round, so they are not squished. Once you see that they're predominantly round, you should say, okay, how's the height compared to the width? It's about the same. So these are cuboidal cells. Put it together with one layer thick, this is simple cuboidal epithelium. We're still in the kidney tubule here. Here's another look at the kidney tubule. But in this view, the line to the plasma membrane is very prominent. So in this picture, a good question might be, name this line at the end of the pointer. And that would be plasma membrane for this cuboidal cell. This cuboidal cell. Now you say, well, hey, this cell looks a little taller than it is wide. Well, you know what? It's within normal variation. You will not always get a picture perfect where every cell is a picture, you know, perfect cube or picture perfect square. So there is a little bit of, of uh, variation, which is okay. okay. So this is simple cuboidal epithelium, also in the kidney. Here's another simple cuboidal epithelium. Hopefully you see it. Here it is. They're like rings, right? They're like rings. So simple cuboidal epithelium. Nice round nuclei and cytoplasm in each cell. Here's the side view. Okay, so last time, let me go back. Last time, all of these tubules is coming to you and into the board. So it's coming this way into the board. This next slide, the tubules, is going this way. And once again, we cut it so that this is the surface that you see. Okay. We cut it so that you're looking at the cut surface of the tubule. Okay, so the tubule is going this way. And we cut it in half so you see the cut surface. Doesn't matter. This white space should tell you we're looking at epithelial tissue. Once you see this epithelial tissue, then you should ask yourself two questions. Number of layers and shape of cells. Number of layers. And you see, this is the basement membrane here because everything on this side looks a little different than this. So this is only one cell layer thick. One cell layer thick. Because this looks a little different and then there's you know something strange going on here. Okay, so one cell layer thick, so it's simple. And the general shape of these cells is like a square, so a simple cuboidal epithelium. Nuclei and cytoplasm. Here's another kidney tubule cut lengthwise, and now it's just running across the board. Once again, all of this is one cell thick. Here's another one cell thick for a different tube. The stuff in between is not epithelium. Okay, that's why I cannot call this two layer thick. It's only one layer because the stuff in between is not epithelium. And the, the shape is cuboidal. Low power, okay. Last time we saw high power, this is low power, meaning it's not magnified very much. But even in this view, you should both see this is definitely epithelium. Right, epithelial tissue, and if you look at the walls, the side of it, lining this structure is one layer of cell thick, nice round nuclei, so it's fair to say it's simple cuboidal epithelium. Now this picture is a little, a little bit different, this is probably in a thyroid gland, 
And if you notice, there's something, a space here, a potential space here, right? Well, yeah, it's filled with something. The fact that you don't see nucleus, uh, any nuclei, tells you that it's pro there's probably no cells inside. But what you do see are the nuclei lining the edge, which means that this is definitely epithelium. And once again, once you see epithelium, ask yourself two questions. Number of layers and shape of cells. If you look at the number of layers, this is pretty much only one layer thick. Shape, nice round nuclei. Height is about the same as the width, so a simple cuboidal epithelium. Here's another view of simple cuboidal epithelium. Now, there are many in this slide. In fact, it's like just packed with tubes. Okay, packed with tubes. We're back in the kidney here. Another look. Here the tubule is running, the tubule is running up and down. And we're looking at the side of the tube. And as you can see, this is a nucleus, 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 nucleus. And nice uh, sh uh, structure for plasma membrane or cell membrane here. And you can see, yeah, the this, this shape is pretty square. And it's only one layer. So simple cuboidal epithelium. This could be blood or, I don't know, a little, a little red blood cell, but it could also be um, debris uh, in the urine. Okay, this is probably kidney tubules. Here's another look at simple cuboidal epithelium. Okay, each one of this is a tubule, and you see simple cuboidal cells lining each of this. Uh, uh, simple cuboidal cells lining each of this. So once again, if the question asks, name this tissue, you said simple cuboidal epithelium. If the question asks, name this cell, you say cuboidal cell. And then, of course, going to ask you to name the nucleus, to name the cytoplasm, to name the cell membrane. And then the last question we can ask is, give us one location, and you can say kidney tubules or thyroid. So going back to this picture, you might remember seeing it with the simple squamous. This, remember, was simple squamous epithelium. And this is simple cuboidal because it's a duct. It's lining a duct. 